Hey, what's up and thanks for clicking in. My name is Jason, and in this video, we're gonna be discussing the concept of double spending. We're gonna talk about what is double spending and why is it important in Bitcoin? Now, this is gonna be a non-technical explanation. I'm trying my best to simplify it as much as possible, so I hope you do enjoy it. If you do, please take a second and like this video below. It really helps out this channel and it just takes you a second. So let's get started. So when you think about the term double spending, it really is as the name implies, it's spending the same money twice. So every type of monetary system has policy in place to guard against this. So if you think about our current system, we have physical money and we also have credit and debit cards. So obviously when you have physical money and you go into a vendor, you present this cash and they give you the goods. You can't then take the same cash and spend it again because the vendor has it. The merchant has your money and you have the goods that you purchased. The same thing is true with a debit or credit card. You swipe your card, that payment goes to a central authority, which is usually your bank, and they say you have or you don't have that money to make that payment. Then your balance is updated in real time. So that transaction is updated in the centralized ledger of the bank and your balance is also updated in that same centralized ledger. You can't then spend that same money twice. But with Bitcoin, because transactions are not instant and cannot happen right now in real time, there is a delay. There is this concept of double spending. So the concept where I could send money, one Bitcoin to someone, person A, and then the same Bitcoin to person B before the transactions are confirmed. The purpose of the Bitcoin network is to prevent double spending. It's keeping track of all the transactions. It's updating everybody's balance with that sole purpose in place to prevent double spending from occurring. But what happens if two transactions do take place at the same time or near the same time that involve the same Bitcoin. What happens then? Well, just like all transactions, initial transactions go into a pool of unconfirmed transactions. They're then selected and put into a block that the miners then work on to solve that cryptographic puzzle and mine the block. So with the Bitcoin network, they don't really care if transaction B or transaction A goes through, only care that either transaction A or transaction B go through and not both. That's the main purpose of the network. So if a user either intentionally or unintentionally tries to double spend their Bitcoin on the network, it shouldn't have much effect on the network. However, it could mess up the people or merchants you're doing business with as only one or possibly even none of those transactions will either even go through. All right, that is it for double spend. What is double spend? It's a pretty simple concept. If your wife or girlfriend had a superpower, this is probably what they'd want it to be. Guys, remember this video likes you, so take a second and like it back below. Consider subscribing, it means a lot. Support the channel, and until the next time, thanks for watching and we'll see you again.